Hi, you guys. I have another new make for you, and boy, have I been on a journey with this dress. I can't wait to tell you all about it, but real quick, if you're new here, hi, I'm Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes, and I am so glad that you found my channel. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so that I can give you a formal welcome. And for everyone watching, be sure to like this video so that YouTube will know that it's awesome and suggest it to other people. Videos of my makes go up just about every Monday. I have dozens for you to watch if you want to binge. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you will not lose your place here. All right, let's get into it. This is the part of the video where I normally tell you all about the awesome pattern that I used, but what if I told you that I made this dress without a pattern? I know, crazy, right? Even crazier, it only took four rectangles of fabric. So the idea came from a tutorial that Rosary Apparel posted back in 2020. I thought, well, that seems easy enough, but I had never shirred anything before and certainly was in foreign territory with no notches or markings or anything to guide me along the way. But I forged ahead and things were looking good. Then I did that thing that I do where I put a perfectly good project in timeout for no reason whatsoever. And there it sat in work in progress purgatory until fate stepped in. I'm doing this challenge on TikTok that is supposed to help me sew through all of my UFOs. And this project was chosen a couple of weeks ago. Here is the TikTok that I posted. We're back. Took a couple days off, but we're here again to work on a work in progress, an unfinished project. I have them all written down on these little note cards and I just draw one. So I don't have to go look at the whole pile and decide for myself. That's way too overwhelming. This one is a good one actually. This is my shirt dress. It's really, really, really freaking cute. And I can't remember why I didn't finish it. Maybe the sleeves need to be shortened or something was happening, but it's very, very close, right? Here's the back. I had put that tie on there to help keep the shoulders up, but I just, I don't think that's gonna work. I think they're gonna come down. I mean, it doesn't take very much movement at all, but I kind of don't hate it now that it's summertime. I kind of don't hate it off the shoulder, right? So I need to do a baby hem because it's already like kind of short, right? And then I need to take that tie off because that's serving no purpose now. And then obviously the sleeves <laughs> need to be hemmed. I mean, my hand is in there somewhere. Um, and if I'm gonna make it like a, I don't know, maybe I'll go really short with the sleeve and do something like this, way up here bubbly like that. That's super cute. I think this is it. It's gonna look really cute with sneakers. It's gonna be great for the summer. But another work in progress done. See y'all next time. And now you can see the final version, finally finished. Even though I had finally finished this dress, I was not convinced, though, that I was going to like it. I don't typically wear anything off the shoulder, you know, like, will it stay up? Am I going to be tugging on it all day? Will it even be comfortable? Well, I can safely say I am super, super comfortable. I really love this dress. I love how it's not like anything else I own. I love that it's sweet and feminine. And believe me when I tell you that it is comfortable to wear. It's not clingy. It's nice and breathable. I mean, shuring all day. Am I right? That um, breathability is also in large part the fabric that I use, which is actually a vintage cotton bed sheet that I rescued from Goodwill. I will say that there are some flaws in the construction. You may have noticed that the original design was supposed to have the sleeve kind of go up and over the shoulder like an actual sleeve, but mine would just not stay up. So I altered the elastic to fit around my bicep instead. I think that there is a way to get the sleeve to stay up, but I'd have to play around with how the sleeve is constructed. If I get around to making another version, I'll be sure to update you guys. Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room. I know that some of you are going to think that it's too short. I polled TikTok when I posted that video I showed you, and overwhelmingly, everyone said that it wasn't. But I'm dying to know what YouTube thinks. Is it too short? I do have enough of this fabric to attach roughly a six-inch long ruffle to the bottom. Um, 
but obviously that would be more work and I'm not sure how much weight that would add. Plus, is an does this really need another frill? Um, so I'm not sure if I want to do that, but I'm, I'm eager to hear what you guys think. I've got a link in the description box that will take you to Rosary Apparel's tutorial that I use if you want to make a version of this dress yourself. The tutorial is great, super easy to follow. I have also linked my most recent pattern review. It's for McCall's 8255, linked it here in the end slate. So if you have not seen that video yet, click on the bottom right of your screen and it'll take you right to that video. But that's going to do it for me today, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.